Luna Moth Creations, and I am back, and I've got two boxes. So, I mean, obviously I'm gonna do them in two different videos, but anyways, hello and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa, and I've decided that from now on I'm just gonna say, on my channel, I like to do witchy things. <laughs> because I'm gonna be doing way a lot of stuff, excuse me, I keep, I'm always like, I'm not picking my ass, I'm just rearranging myself, because I sit like a little kid. I have to sit with my feet in my chair anyways, and I'm wearing shorts because it's hot upstairs in my house. Like it feels normal downstairs, but hot, hot upstairs. So anyways, hey guys, <laughs> on my channel I like to do witchy things, and today we are doing the Witch's Roots box for January 2022. How exciting. And on my channel I also like to drink a monster. Also my favorite flavor so difficult to find. If anybody can find the Ultra Fiesta, it's a teal color and it's the zero sugar. I'm just curious if Missouri is the only place not getting it or if this is everywhere. Like I ordered it on Amazon and I can't get it for like, it, it was like two weeks or something it said. Anyways, also guys, if you're interested, I'm wearing one of my shirts that I created from my store. It says, shit happens, meditation helps. So there you go. If you guys want to check out my witchy store, it's linked below, entitled My Witchy Store. But it's Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. All right, let's get to the box, because I'm sure you guys are like, shut up, Lisa. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's see what's in the fucking box. Okay. All right, let's read the top portion to know a little bit about the box. Ooh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna like this one. It says, Goddess of Wealth. Yes, ma'am. As we step into the lighter months of the year, we bask, I can't wait for the lighter months. We bask in the bright and beautiful emotions of new opportunity, growth and renewed hope. It is during these months that we stand above the clouds, able to clearly see our purpose on the horizon. We truly become overjoyed during this time of year as we allow ourselves to focus on our growth and transformation. In this very special collection, we work with such delicate and peaceful energies supporting us in obtaining any new wealth, prosperity, and abundance in our lives. Wealth is not always associated with physical currency, but rather the amount of blessings, companionship, and understanding that fills our experiences. Take the time these coming months to make your intentions clear and unbound. Know that this is the time where your life changes and manipulates into a more complex and beautiful creation. Um, it says it's important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct, cor correct, correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing a ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. So I will shut this over here. Oh, oh no! Okay, <laughs> it, says, it says, Dear subscribers, we're writing to inform you of a small adjustment to shipping prices starting on February 1st. We have not raised shipping prices since we started this wonderful journey in 2016 and have done everything we can to make our shipping costs affordable. Unfortunately, the cost of shipping is now at a cost where we have to make an adjustment to continue sharing our passion for this craft with you. Starting February 1st, a dollar, like a US dollar, will be added to the shipping and handing cloths of all skit, oh my god, I can't talk, of all subscription boxes. And it, anyways, it just says, you know, thank you for your support and gratitude and blah, 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 and all that stuff. I don't mind the dollar. That's totally fine. Oh, so we have a, oh no. <laughs> I sound like a cross between my my granddaughter and um, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> uh, if you guys have not seen Mrs. Doubtfire, um, you need to watch it. I guess I'm also pointing out my age. Well, I just said granddaughter, so you can tell that I'm older. But anyways, <laughs> oh no, okay. <laughs> so we took my granddaughter to the zoo and um, they had like a, like a, like a, anim not animated, but but they were like robot, ro robotic um, dinosaurs. And the first one she saw, she flipped her fucking mind and cried. And we have a picture of her like, <laughs> like trying to come at us. She was crying. And then I have a video where we have her on one of those baby leashes and she's walking and she stops, 
points at a big dinosaur and she goes, oh no. <laughs> it's the most hilarious video. Anyways, okay, I digress. So we have an art print of Lakshmi. There we go. She's so beautiful. All right. I'm sure it says something. Lakshmi, Book of Shadows. I think I just saw something. Okay, created, created to be a brief reference guide, this wonderful artwork provides basic information on Lakshmi. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows or place on your altar for display. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. As usual, gorgeous. And then we have our, uh, our herb. I can't even, I don't even know what this is. I, I'm not, I, is that a C? Here, we're gonna look in, yeah. Cascara Sagrada. Oh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Herbal Grimoire Artwork. We've partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Cascara Sagrada. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This artwork provides a variety of facts and correspondences that may assist you during ritual practices. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, Herbal Grimoire, or place on your altar for display, written and illustrated by A.E. Elton. Okay. And now we have our crystal. Okay, so I feel like I know what this is. Um, so, I would have said like citrine, is that what it is? Or is it that, um, oh it is citrine, okay. Well the golden healer, which is more quartz and then it has a little bit of golden in it, trips me up sometimes because I'm like, that doesn't look exactly like citrine. But anyway, so there is my new little baby. I love citrine. Citrine tumbled stone, an abundant and wonderful manifestation stone. Citrine is one of the favorite allies while working to strengthen our personal will, creativity, and mental clarity. Also known to be a prosperity stone, citrine acts as an energy generator, attracting the results of manifestation into your life. As you work with citrine, allow its energies to revitalize your thoughts and emotions, bringing clarity to your psychic sight, elemental association of fire, chakra correspondence to your first, second, and third chakras. Holy moly. I wish they would have given me an artwork for that, but maybe we've already had one of those before. Okay, I think we have our oil here. Almost looks like we have two oils, but nah. I don't think that's, I don't think we have two. All I can say though is, oh, the box smells amazing as usual. So my boxes, my my regular Witch's Moon took like a year and a day to get here. It, I don't know, it took like a, it was a pilgrimage to get here. <laughs> um. I forget where they come from. Arizona. So it went from Arizona. I swear I saw it in Missouri and I was like, cool, it's getting close. And then it went to Oregon. And I was like, okay, let me pull out a map y'all because I'm pretty sure Oregon's nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's over here. It's here. I'm here. Down here. Didn't make any sense, but it finally swung back around and we're good and I got it. So we have Goddess Prosperity, and I don't think it's gonna translate, but there are yummies in there. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see it. We're gonna put it all. Hmm, that's some sort of flower. What is that? Goddess of Prosperity, magical anointing oil. This goddess of prosperity, magical anointing oil has been created to draw new opportunities, prosperity, and wealth to your life. I'm gonna like bathe in it. Let me just... <laughs> As you anoint your skin or ritual tools, visualize a pulsing glow to all that it touches. Do you guys see a pulsating glow? Or is my carotid artery um, pulsing? <laughs> or maybe it's my... Maybe it's my, my gobble that I'm starting to grow as an older lady <laughs> in my crone phase. <laughs> okay, created to draw new opportunities, prosperity, and wealth to your life. As you anoint your skin or ritual tools, visualize a pulsing glow to all that it touches. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with basil, almond, cinnamon, ginger, and cedarwood oils 
and have included calendula and basil herbs as well. I would not have thought that. Maybe it's the calendula that I was not. I think I just ate some of it. Um, inside your oil, you will find a quartz crystal. Wait. Said to personify oneness into your aura. I thought it was um, a Lumerian quartz. Maybe that's what they're saying. Maybe it's the Lumerian quartz. We have also included a special mixture of our money draw magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Wonderful. I love it. All right. And then we have our ritual candle. I need an ink pen. Because um, I've been like just uh, peeling off the top just so you guys could see like the color. It's a yellow beeswax candle. Um, but then writing which candle it is, because like later on when I go to use it, I'm like, I don't know what this is. All right. Um, golden Aura Mini Spell Candle. We have hand rolled this Golden Aura Mini Spell Candle with the intention of enhancing the visualization you have of the energies around you. As you allow the flame to dance before you, visualize a golden orb growing in size around you. This represents your spiritual magnet, attracting the energies of prosperity and abundance. Work to incorporate this small ritual into your daily workings for the coming months. Lovely. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so this is the Cascara Sagrada. It looks like a root or bark. Okay, where'd it go? Cascara Sagrada is a very unique and powerful bark, okay, that originally comes from a species of buckthorn that is distributed throughout the American Pacific, Northwest, and British Columbia. Cascara is commonly found along streams in the forests of valleys and in moist overgrown areas. This bark was called the sacred bark by the Spanish, originally adopted by the indigenous peoples of the, spe of the, <laughs> of the specific, of the Pacific Northwest and was aged for 12 moths. <laughs> That's what it says, 12 moths. I mean, I like moths, Luna moth. 12 months, I'm assuming, to be included in specific teas and brews that would ease stomach ailments. In addition to its specific health benefits, Cascara Sagrada is a wonderfully magical bark. Among many, among, wait a minute, among many practitioners, it is used as the lucky court case herb, oh yeah, assisting those that find themselves involved with legal matters. It is said that if Cascara Sagrada bark is burned upon charcoal before a legal proceeding or added to a mojo bag, the effects can bring deliverance and resolution. Cascara Sagrada is also commonly used within a variety of money and prosperity spells. The benefits can help lend a hand in finding prosperous employment, starting a new business, or simply attracting new opportunities into your life. The sacred bark also has the immense ability to dispel negativity, hexes, or malevolent spirits. Carry this bark with you in a mojo bag or simply as a charm to protect your aura from psychic attacks. Work with the Cascara Sagrada this time of year to strengthen and bolster your spiritual resonance. Take the time to incorporate these attracting qualities to your rituals of transformation and growth. Elemental association of earth, celestial earth and Jupiter. And it says ritual and external use only. Got it. All right, now we have soul incense sticks. Hmm. It smells a lot like the, um, the oil. It smells good. All right, the fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to bring light and warmth into your sacred space. As you allow the smoke from this incense to wave throughout your space, take a deep breath and intentional, take a deep and intentional breath. Okay, I hate when they don't tell me what's in here, but they're probably like, I'm not gonna tell you my secret recipe. All right. So I can kind of see what this is. <laughs> I'm choking myself up. Speaking of coughing, my boyfriend's got the COVID. He's very mild though. Like he doesn't even really feel bad. 
but he took a test. He felt bad for like one day and he ended up taking a home test and it was positive. He brought me a home test and I was negative, so we're staying six feet away from each other. <gasps> oh no! I'm Mrs. Doubtfire again. Something broke. Oh. All right, where's my, I need some glue. So I have a little baby Lakshmi statue. There we go. She's got a little um, like thingy here and it was another one behind her. I mean, it was one of her arms. <laughs> See, it's like, it's this guy right here. Okay, so anyways, there she is. Oh, she's so pretty, sitting on a lotus flower. I'm going to have to get some, um, some, like, Gorilla Glue or something. Aw, oh, me. Lakshmi. <clears throat> so I've been, my boyfriend did come over. Like I said, we're staying six feet away and he's wearing a mask. <laughs> so we watched TV today and he sat, like, over, like, not in here, but in the living room, he sat in my chase lounge, like, over there, and then I sat at the farthest end of my couch, <laughs> away from each other. But anyways, he did hang some things for me. Not in this room, obviously, it's still a blank wall, but I have a hammer now and some nails, even though he gave me, like, these really shitty nails. Anyways, all right, let's read about Lakshmi. Lakshmi statuette. Okay, I don't want to lose her arm. Lakshmi, also known as Shri, is one of the most beloved goddesses in the Hindu pantheon. She represents and holds the power of wealth, fortune, beauty, and abundance. Known as the sacred goddess of merchants, she bestows wonderful kindness to those that call upon her. It is said that she sprinkles lotus pillows on your path to remind you of the sweetness of life. In addition to being the goddess of wealth, she provides relief during times of stress, fear, and panic. As you welcome Lakshmi into your practice, allow her kind and beautiful energies to relieve your worries so that you are able to focus your intentions on truly beneficial purposes. Very nice. I just need to um, put her arm back together. We're gonna put it in her lap for right now. I think that is it for the witch's roots. And it just says, we have curated this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and signs from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects placed inside this collection. We send you the energies of abundance and prosperity as you walk into the coming months of light and growth. Blessed be the witch's roots. Fabulosity. All right, guys. So that is it for this box. What is your favorite? Obviously, Lakshmi with her broken arm. Um, I'll repair it. I'm a nurse. I can do this. I need to find some glue. <laughs> so thanks guys for tuning in I really appreciate you and don't forget I'm having a huge giveaway if you guys have not seen that video um, I will try to link it um, up here if I remember otherwise you know just look at my videos you'll see <laughs> and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram go ahead and jump over to Instagram I have a link below to that too it's Luna Moth Creations Co on Instagram as well and if you guys wouldn't mind give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below what you think of this box and what's your favorite item. And if you're not a current subscriber, guys, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're already a subscriber, thanks, guys. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.